Hello, my name is Andrew, and I'm back with the Flora and Ulysses chapter 9 to 10. Let's go into the book again, to the bookstore. <laughs> chapter 9. The world, world of fire. Well, fire. It is great if you just draw a fire on the left side or the right side on the fire. She spoke to him, and he understood her. What the girl said was, Ulysses, come here, Ulysses. And without thinking, he moved toward her. It's okay, he, she said, and he believed her. It was astonishing. Everything was astonishing. The setting sun was illuminating each blade of this grass. It was reflecting off the girl's glasses, making a halo of light around the girl's round head, setting the whole world on fire. The squirrel thought, when did things become so beautiful? And if it has been this way all along, how was it that I never noticed before? Listen to me, the girl said. My name is Flora. Your name is Ulysses. Okay, thought the squirrel. She put her hand on him. She picked him up. She cradled her, him in, in her left arm. She felt nothing but happiness. Why had he always been so terrified of humans? He couldn't imagine. Actually, he could imagine. There will be the same time with the boy and the BB gun. There had truthfully been a lot of incidents with humans, some involving BB guns or not. And all of them had been violent, terrifying, and sound destroying. But this was a new life! And he was a changed squirrel. He felt spectacular, strong, smart, capable, and also hungry. He was very, very hungry. Chapter 10. Wow. One zero. Squirrel smuggling. Smuggling. Let's highlight that word. Flora's mother was in the kitchen. She was typing. She wrote on an old typewriter and when she pounded the keys the kitchen table shook and the place on the shelves rattled and the silverware and the drawers cried out in a metal like kind of alarm floor had decided that this was part of the reason her parents had divorced <clears throat> not the noise of the writing but writing itself specifically the writing of romance yum 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 Flora's father has said, I think that your mother is so in love through books that about love that she didn't, doesn't love me anymore. And her mother has said, Ha! Your father is so far off in love's field that he wouldn't recognize love if it stood up in a soup and sang. Flora had a hard time imagining what love would be doing standing in a bowl of soup and singing. But these were the kinds of uh, idiotic words her parents spoke. And they said the words to each other, even though they were pretending that they were talking to Flora. It was all very annoying. Where are you going? And doing? Her mother said to Flora. She was ducking on a pizza pop. It made her words sound rocky and sharp edged. Her mother used to smoke and then she stopped. But she still had to have something in her mouth when she typed, so she consumed a lot of pizza pops. This one was orange flavored. Flora could smell it. Oh, nothing, said Flora. She glanced at the squirrel in her arms. <clears throat> Good, said her mother. She wagged the carriage return on the typewriter without looking up. 
She kept typing. Are you still standing there? Her mother said. She typed some more words. He hit the carriage return again. I am on a deadline here. It's hard to concentrate with you standing over me, breathing like that. I could stop breathing," said Flora. "Oh, don't be ridiculous," said her mother. "Go upstairs and wash your hands. We're going to eat soon." Okay," said Flora. She walked past her mother and into the living room, still carrying Ulysses in the crook of her arm. It didn't seem possible, but it was true. She had smuggled a squirrel into the house, and she had done it right under her mother's nose, or behind her back, or something. In the living room at the base of the stairs, the little shepherdesses, Nap was waiting. A pink cheeked smirk plastered on her face.、Hmm. Flora hated the li- little shepherdess. Her mother had bought the lamp with her first royalty check from her first book on Feather Wings of Joy, which was the stupidest title for a book that Flora had ever heard in her life. Her mother had sent away to London for the lamp. When it arrived, she unpacked it and plugged it in, and then she clapped her hands and said, "Oh, she's so beautiful! Isn't she beautiful? I love her with all my heart." Flora's mother never called Flora beautiful. She never said that she loved her with all her heart. Like Lee, Flora was a cynic and didn't care whether her mother loved her or not. I think that. I will call her Marianne," her mother had said. "Marianne," said Flora. "You're going to name a lamp, Marianne Shepherdess to the Lost," said her mother, who was lost exactly. But her mother hadn't bothered to answer that question. This Flora said to the squirrel is the little shepherdess. Her name is Marianne. Unfortunately, she lives here too. The squirrel considered to Marianne. Flora narrowed her eyes and stared at the lamp. She knew that it was ridiculous, but sometimes she felt as if shepherdess were keeping some dark and terrible secret. A shield. You stupid lamp," said Flora. <clears throat> "Mind your own business. Mind your sheep." Actually, there was just one sheep, a tiny lamb, curled up at Marianne's pink slipper feet. Flora always wanted to say to the little shepherdess, "If you were such a great shepherdess, where are the rest of your sheep?" Huh? You can just ignore her," said Flora to Ulysses. She turned away from the smug and glowing Marianne and climbed the stairs to her room, holding Ulysses gently, carefully in her arms. He didn't glow, but he was surprisingly warm for someone so small. So, this was chapter nine to ten. In Flora and Ulysses, and thank you for listening to Andrew's audio. Bye bye.